Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to deal with gaps in your data when you're charting or creating a chart. So here's a couple scenarios here. First of all, I have just a list of years and their sales. I highlight the data, hit Alt F1, it creates a pretty simple chart, no problem. But if let's say there were two months that data was missing, uh, you have a gap there. Here, that doesn't look so bad. Uh, but let's say we change the chart type to uh, a line chart. And I'm just going to go to change chart type here, make it a line chart. And you can see the default setup in Excel when there are mis is when there's missing data is to just leave it as gaps. So we're going to change that. I'm going to highlight that, right click, and select data. And when you select data, a dialog box pops up. And down in the lower left corner, there's hidden and empty cells. I click on that, and you can see the first option there is gaps. The second option is zero. So if we chose that, said OK and OK, it would drop it down to zero. That might be acceptable in certain scenarios. Going back to select data, hidden and empty cells. The third option is just connect the data points. So if I select that and say OK and OK, now notice where there was no data right here and right here. It just connects the previous and succeeding data points with a straight line. So there's a couple options there when you just have something simple like that. Now here's another scenario here where we have our sales per month and we also have sales for each quarter, summing that up. So I'm going to highlight that. Again, do an Alt F1 and create a chart this way. Now, what I might want to do here is click on this data, right click, and format that data series and put it on a secondary axis. And then go to Change Series Chart Type. And on this Q Sales, I'm going to make it a line chart and saying OK. And again, because gap is the primary default, actually that data pretty much disappears. So I'm going to right click, select data, go to my hidden and empty cells. And again, I can choose zero, say OK and OK. And now that's what occurs. Probably not what I want it to look like. So one more time, right click, select data hidden and empty cells and choose connect data points with a line say OK and OK again and that's pretty much more what we'd like it to look like we have our monthly sales going off the left axis and our quarterly sales is a line going after our right axis and it gives a little better visual as to uh, how our, our sales are performing so that's how Excel deals with gaps and hidden data in charts. I hope it's useful to you. Thanks a lot for stopping by. And if you'd like to see more, please go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and feel free to subscribe. Happy excelling.